Should, should I show them? Yeah, show them. So this is the second colorway, the black. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hold on. Can I screenshot this? Yes, please do. Shit. Mommy's birthday. Show it, show it, uh, show it. This way? There you go. Wow. Yeah, but I definitely took a screenshot of that. You're the one. Reverse back to the message, of course, you can't really see it, but it says Year of the Women. We are really celebrating women, women's empowerment. This is our moment. Um, I created this sneaker for women, a basketball shoe for you. Oh, my goodness. Those are... <laughs> They didn't think it ran in the family. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think it ran in the family. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't oh, oh, wow. Oh, there's two of them. They're, they're, they're two. <laughs> very, so, very hey, but I want, I want everybody. I don't know if they can see that small detail that you crossed out my name. That was, that was effed up. It's all good though. <laughs> you can see it. Uh, absolutely. Cross that name out. Get Kyrie Irving out of there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> in. Has never done this before, but they actually crossed out his name and put to the specifications of Asia Irving. One hundred percent. I had nothing to do with that. Okay. No. Allowing that, forgive Stop us for it. To do that. Nothing to do with those. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I looked at him. I saw Dad with them on. I got him. I was like, wow. I'm. I might just have to take a step back and just. <laughs> Can I see those black ones again one more time, please? Just one more time. Of course. I'm wearing these today, actually. Oh. Oh, can you show them side by side? Side by side, like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The other ones, the purple and the black. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Those Dude. are tough, Ish. So much. Are tough. This camel was actually inspired by one of my, I love to go thrifting, to I created special um, tie oh. Derek Smith, thank you so much for dyeing these for me. I really, really appreciate you. These were sent out as well. I got to look out for my ladies. <laughs> Ball bag. Hey. Here's a little example. <laughs> you should see this stuff as well. Oh, you could put. Oh, wow. Wow. This is. <laughs> I'm getting outdone. I'm getting outdone. Clearly, I'm getting outdone. I need to get my. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, people that, that was getting my seating and all of that, you know what I mean? <laughs> like all the boxes, opening up all the influencers. I appreciate y'all, but my sister clearly is outclassing me right now. Yeah, I need to step my. This, this is exactly what it's about. I want to say thank you to my family and friends, to you, for all my friends that helped me support. Well, I did this. Live. Yeah. This, is a, this is a family vibe. This is a fam vibe. Family vibe exactly. all the way. Around. Family vibe all the way around. Yes, yes. So that's what we're celebrating. Again, we're celebrating women, women's empowerment. And I wanted to shed light on us men being being better and being more open to giving out love, not only to. Um, other guys that we appreciate, but I'm saying the queens in our life because my life has changed uh, completely with the queens that, oh, they just done so much for me. I'm just grateful. And um, they've been very patient with me and they've shown me that I don't have to necessarily be at war with the world when I know that I have a community and a home to come back to every single day. You know, no distractions. No extraness, no hatred, no anger, you know, just real peaceful people. And it's shown me a different way. And I want to show that same thing in our men, you know, me leading our men men mentorship. And I have my best friend there. I see him over there, KP, and a bunch of the men that you have in your life. And we just all do it for the commune, like for each other. And I appreciate that. So thank you to Nike Basketball. Thank you, A's. Um, I'm just so, so grateful. So grateful, really. Um, I Mommy, grandma, grandma, grandpa, grandpa, yes. and all the rest of our generations of, you know, people that came before us, whether they were slaves or ex-slaves or they were natives and, you know, in Warriors. America, we, we made it, you know, now we want to take this dream even further and do more with our voice and our power. And it's time for all of us to step into our power together yeah. and we all can make a change. Um, together you know signing petitions make sure that you call your mayor's office make sure that you get out there and do what's right for your community standing up when you see racism standing up 
when you see oppression standing up, when you see someone taking advantage of someone else that is just, it's not fair. Um, and also look out for your common brother and sister. We all can live on this world harmoniously. We don't need to fight for more and more and more and more and more and more. Like it's very simple to live life when you live harmoniously with you know, mother nature and the earth. So I'm grateful that I'm able to touch on all these things with you. Um, I wouldn't be who I am without you and dad and Azori and Marlene and my family and everybody. Like it's, it's, a, it's a group effort, it takes a village. So I'm not perfect, far from it, but I know that I'm learning every single day and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So I appreciate you. Thank you, I appreciate it too. I love you. Talk to you I love soon after of this course. live. Yeah. What type of advice would you give, um, you know, our younger generation um, that you wish that you had received years ago? Honestly, to just go for it, to not worry about what other people think. If that's the biggest takeaway that I, the takeaway advice that I can give, I obviously started out on a whole different path. I graduated from Temple University with an accounting degree and realized that this was not the path that was for me. While it was great, I got my business background. Um, I interned at Nike and was able to explore accounting in a different space. But I still realized that there was the creativity part, the, the artist in me was really missing. And I really wanted to be able to share that. So go for it. Uh, just please go for it. Um, don't worry about what anyone else has to say. Your parents have to say. Um, your aunties, your cousins, if that's the path that you want to take, figure out a way and it will come to you. Yeah. Um, I work, you know, my little tell off to find uh, new opportunities as soon as I graduated to see how I can get in the fashion industry. I've, I've been blessed to be able to meet people that have also helped me um, feel safe and feel um, just really supported in the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. um, and i took that and ran with it yeah. so go for it yes go for it be yourself honor yourself and honor your craft honor your talent because you were given a god-given talent for a reason so please yeah. don't waste it we don't have time obviously over the last few years just being grateful for life and appreciate yes. you know that we all can do some healing work <laughs> like it's a so i get it I think the type of advice I would give to a lot of young people, uh, the younger generation, as I say, like I'm, I'm only 28 and you're 29, but the younger generation is don't don't feel locked up in a box in education. You know, I think your mind will always be more valuable than being fast and being strong, you know, being a scholar of your craft. And when I say craft, it could be poetry. It can be being becoming an author. It could be being an artist. You, you know, just be scholarly. You know, when you're scholarly, I feel like education is a never ending process in that sense. You know, don't get tied up in conforming to worrying about high school drama and fitting in and, you know, Instagram and, you know, trying to be a digital identity, an identity of a person that, you know, we know our, our parents didn't raise us like that. As we got older, it took time, more experiences, but I think go through these experiences being gentle. And I'm, I'm learning a lot more about the younger generation and what they're privy to being awakened to now. Like we didn't have shamans around the corner and, you know, you know, healing houses and, you know, people that do Reiki and, you know, people that know about meditation. Like this wasn't, these aren't things that we heard in school, you know, like in order to unlock your true self. And I think that's the thing I would tell them is fight the good fight and understand that there is race battles out here. There are, you know, capital battles out there. There are disenfranchised, marginalized communities, especially black and brown and Hispanic and Latin and natives that, you know, a lot of us that have made it to these particular platforms want to change it. And we want to change it by giving the opportunity and giving back in a way where there is a system of belief and hope that we can have our own you know, and it's, it's hard being in there without your your brothers and sisters in there and other kings and queens, because I'm not the only person that can make change or speak about this. There are so many others that either play athletics or, you know, write books for a living or anything that still make change in what they're doing. So I always want that to be in my mind as I wake up with a purpose is I've done my job. Like I've I've done my job of making it somewhere, but I haven't 
done it enough to serve others in the fashion and that's an everyday thing you know like i'm like yeah how, how many people can i help today like how many you know a simple smile in the street a simple hello a, i love you to a family member because as you said before to your point life is but a blink of an eye but a twinkle in this universe so um how do you use creativity as as a way to unlock your true self um well naturally i I'm a really shy person. I grew up shy. I was really um, quiet. So my creativity allows me to really, well, you know different, but creativity really allows me to just be my truest self. It allows me to um, be able to just express myself in such a different way by what I wear, um, by the things that, the details that I pay attention to. Um, it just allows me to just really be free honestly yeah. which is the ultimate goal um the ultimate goal is to become a kid again and to be in that space where you feel free to do and share as you please um so that's how creativity allows me to unlock myself but how does it allow you to unlock yourself i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you do know you've been sharing us you record know, like, like creativity is I don't even want to try to define it. It's just like fun. It makes my, it makes me all warm and fuzzy because I get to create, I get to create moments with so many great people and like take away just like this whole idea of, you know, like just being a, a human. I just think about being a spirit. Like I've been able to travel for lifetimes and I'm not going to get into that, but a creativity for me is taking something and mashing it all together and you know sharing it with somebody and then you guys just having a moment that it's not even about i don't know i don't know i'm gonna go all around the place creative <laughs> well, i go on a tangent i'm not gonna do that creativity unlocks my true self because it allows me to show who i really am and i get to speak my truth and yeah. that's it that's all i want is to be able to share that experience pass it along make a better way for azori and my kids moving forward and you know the lady in my life and my my aunts and my sisters because they are the true queens that i come from so my creativity is like man i really just love showing love like yeah. that's it i love showing love but uh, same token the creativity also allows me to be very disciplined um and to work how i learned how to work in fine lines basketball is only four lines you know people think you know we're like superheroes uh, on the court and and though we are inspirations for others to make it to a a platform like that or to have an opportunity to do what we do in those four lines you have to be a, an artist you got to create i went back in my in the backyard and i used to be dreaming of playing against magic kobe jordan you remember like and i used to count down in the backyard and have that creativity in my mind and imagination to go out and create moves you know when people see me play now they're like, man, he's the dribbling God. He's this. And I'm like, no, I'm a complete player. Like, I never wanted to be anything but that, to have fun playing ball. And then once you add in all the criticism and all that stuff and the construction of trying to be, like, a perfect NBA player or a perfect player, it's like, no, nah, I did this to have fun. I did this for the love. I love the fandom. I love the competition. But I love creating freely, like you said, to free myself. When I'm out there in the court, I'm most happiest when – I'm out there doing my job, but also doing it in a way that entertains and makes people happy. I'm not no dancing person out there that you, oh, oh yeah, yeah, let's let's do it. Come on. Like, no, I'm not that. I'm not that. I never was that. I'll never be that. And, you know, somebody of a commodity that people make fun of and they don't. Oh, yeah. Well, he off the court. Like, no, it's about on the court. Look at my look at my resume. Look at the classics. Look at my art. I've created it for going on 10 plus years now. Don't play with me. Don't play with what I do on a day and out basis to provide and go out there and create. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm away from my family for seven months out of the year. I'm out there <laughs> front lines, activism. I'm out there trying to continue to spread light to Brianna Taylor and say her name and all our women like this is a life that encompasses a lot more than just shooting a damn basketball so I'm not it's like my creativity leads to all that how can I show love to more of those that don't have that voice you know that I'm always a believer in that because in this sense when we're talking Asian you know media 
websites and all this in the life of the industry, they'll take all this and mash it up and give it out to people. And it's not creative. It's like a bunch of nonsense. It's not about the truth about that person. Like what I stand for is sharing love, connecting people. And I just happen to play NBA basketball. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just happen God given. Like my ancestors love me playing ball. I tell you that I'm grateful for that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. So let me stay on point. Um, <laughs> You know me, Ace. I could start talking about a bunch of things at once, but talk to me about the challenges that you faced early on when you first got in this, into you know, into your industry or into your passions or into what wake you, what wakes you up every single day. What was the most challenging thing? Um, I think it was finding my lane. The way that I stepped into my role as a stylist was very unique in itself. Um, obviously, you text me one day like, hey, I, I need a stylist and I think it should be you. So I um, love you. <laughs> Trust me, my vision. <laughs> That's the way it hey. happened. Nah, it, it was too much. But why am I paying a stylist 70 grand just to go shopping for me? Like, I, 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 like, it I, 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 I know it doesn't. For um, every wearing the same thing like there are people there are people that are across like there's this unisex wearing of clothes and fashion i was like yo we have the same balenciagas we have the same louboutins we have the same gucci we had the same louis vuitton like what about streetwear i had no idea about it i thought spending a bunch of money on all that luxury and all these brand names was gonna make me seem like i had it all going on so it was easy to call you like yo age out of spending fifty thousand to <laughs> to buy, you know, nothing wrong with those brands. Nothing wrong with those. Brands. I, just, yes. I was just like spending way too much money there. Yes, um, I was really nervous at first uh, when you when you gave me that call. But as soon as I jumped into it, I decided to trust in myself and have mm -hmm. faith in my ability. It's funny because for years we used to talk about like, oh, you know, how about you wear this? How about you wear that? And that I'm stylist and, and to be able to style others is a is I'm um, very good. Yeah. I'm sorry, I done lost my train of thought. No, 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 you good, you good. So